Hey Insiders, let's talk about tourniquets real quick. There's all kinds of tourniquets on the market. And we personally believe that tourniquets are kind of like shoes. You have to use the one that fits you. Because there really isn't a one-stop solution. The most common tourniquet out there is probably the cat tourniquet. This is a simple windless style tourniquet that you have to turn, twist, and then lock in place. Um, this is great to put on somebody else. They can be difficult to put on yourself, though I know a lot of people argue with me on that one. Um, but, but this is a good, reliable tourniquet, um, and I think everybody should have one. The next step is the rat. Now, a lot of people hate on this thing, and I don't believe it's justified because it does have a very valuable purpose. The benefit the rat has is you can take it down that small. So whereas the cat tourniquet, you cannot put on a child or maybe even a small female or small male. This you can. You can use this on your dog if you needed to. This is another valuable tourniquet to have and another one I highly recommend everybody have in their kit. My personal favorite for tourniquets, the one that I carry, is the RevMedics. This is a very easy to use tourniquet that can be done one-handed by yourself. Once the tourniquet is applied, you simply ratchet to add the tension, just like that. The benefit this tourniquet has over the other two is, if you get interrupted while applying tension to this tourniquet, you don't lose the tension you've already applied. Whereas with the cat, if you let go of this windlass, you lose all the tension. And when you're applying a tourniquet, that usually means there's a lot of blood involved. Your hands are gonna be slippery. Human blood is very slippery. Not pleasant to hear about, but it's the truth. And human blood against skin is one of the slipperiest things there is. We take it for granted because when we practice these things, we practice it with dry hands and dry conditions. Everything's perfect for us. That's not gonna be the case when you're having to use one of these, which is why I like the RevMedics. And there's a couple brands of these out here. This is just the one I prefer because that ratchet is positive. I can go that far and stop. I can come back a second later, keep going. I haven't lost any of the tension I've already created. It's real simple to take off, lift up, pull back. You can take the tourniquet right off. But I recommend everybody have both kinds, be it the ratcheting style or a cat and a rat in your kit. Very important to have, especially if you have small kids or pets. Again, this can be used on a pet as well. But get some tourniquets, add them to your kit, learn how to use them. Plenty of videos on YouTube, learn how to use them.